In today's video, I present to you Thailand's unmasked barbecue hotpot buffet grill and this is all happening at Srinagar Korean train night market right here next to Sikun Square. <laughs> I will also be passing by Rod's Vintage Garage, check out some cool cars. And also try out some street food later on in the evening. But there is a special drink I'm going to be trying out. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kaiwa. If you're new here, you're watching Kaiwa Craves Food and Travel. Today is a special video. I'm going to be taking you to a Thai restaurant to experience the Thai hot pot buffet grill. This is a pretty unique hot pot from the ones I've tried before, and I believe you're going to enjoy this video. Now, walk with me along as we head to the restaurant, but uh, we are going to first check out. Uh, was on the streets and also visit Rod's vintage garage. Let's go. I'll try it next time. One thing. This one. I'm at the Srinakarin night train market and this is what it looks like. The environment is pretty chill um, many foods displayed over here and right over there is the Rhodes vintage garage that garage has unique vintage pieces it is worth visiting see that yeah I see it too trust me now I know most of my viewers haven't seen these vehicles before but I grew up watching these in the movies and standing in front of one makes me feel closer to the movies I used to watch I know you must be anxious to see what Thai hot pot looks like but wait a minute I'm heading to the restaurant So this okay. is the restaurant and it is called Dakyeb. Let's get in and see what it has to offer. So the price at this hot pot restaurant is about 229 baht and it is an all you can eat. Uh, so most of the food here is seafood though they also have uh, beef, pork and chicken. So I'm gonna get a plate here and begin selecting what I'm gonna be having. Uh, you're gonna be seeing it as we head further into the video. So just stick around. This is the seafood section, lots of options. I'll also be taking you to the meat section and also the vegetables and the sauces too. These here are some of the meat selections you could pick from. Uh, some of it is marinated, some of it is spiced up with different ingredients. So it is up to you to select what you want. I'm gonna be selecting what I want and let's go grill it ourselves. <laughs> So 
so for now this is my selection i'm gonna be heading to my temple right over there and put this down then find something else to add what i'm gonna eat so this is basically what you do when you come to this thai hot pot buffet grill it is really really unmatched you need to try this this all you can drink. This is the point where you get your drink. It depends on what you want to drink. Lots of options. Just simply get a cup, fill up with ice, and get your drink. So I'm gonna get my drink right now. And in case I'm done with my drink, I'll just come back here and refill my cup. What do you think of that? This right here, easy setup. This is the unmatched Thai barbecue hot pot grill. In the middle is the grill and around the grill is the hot pot. So if you wanna grill something, place it in the middle onto the grill and if you wanna boil something, just put it around the grill. Basically where the water is. So these are the dipping sauces in case you wanna dip something come pick your dipping sauces right here I'm glad I'm sharing this with you because next time you want to visit the Thai hot pot buffet grill at least you will know what to do I've placed some of the meat in the middle, that's where I'm grilling it from and around where the water is, is where I'm boiling the vegetables. So possibly you could just come here and you want to be eating vegetables the whole time. But if you love meat, you're going to enjoy this. see some fat coming out of this pork belly and going into the water making it uh, almost like a stew wave broth <laughs> Vegetables are ready. This is the dipping sauce. It's a mixture of uh, fish sauce and a little bit of chilies and garlic. Uh, really simple, but it does the work. <laughs> Oh, I'm now struggling with these sticks. I'm going to put them down and use the spoon.
Remember, we also got the prawns. So right here is the charcoal store. This is where we're going to be grilling the prawns uh, or the shrimps, whatever you may want to call them. <laughs> meat is extremely delicious and the test it's been marinated for I think over five or six hours so all the ingredients have gone deep into the meat tissue each bite or each chew you take is gonna burst into your test buds and give you a wow feeling Someone help me here, I'm a little confused. Is this shrimp or crayfish? Because these legs are extremely long. The ambience here is really good now. As you can see, everyone here is enjoying the moment, uh, eating the entire hot pot barbecue grill. And if I were to recommend this restaurant, I would highly recommend it. And if I were to rate it on a scale of 10, I would give it a 9.5. I really appreciate their service. I highly recommend that you come try it yourself. I'm almost done here. I'm gonna be heading further into the market, so stick around. We're done with the hot pot. Now it's time to try out some classic Thai snacks. These are very popular, popular ones, and I'm, I'm really glad I could find them here. This is the market and this is what it looks like if you didn't know. We are at the Sunakari night train market. It is very very popular what it offers. So I'm trying to look around for some unique street food or fast foods, Thai fast foods. Over here I've come across some bugs or you could call them insects. I've made a video eating these ones you could watch that video after but i guess i won't be eating these ones today because i ate them last time let me look around for something else i've come across a store that sells uh, coconut smoothies so i'm gonna be trying that too and also showing you how it's being made Uh, this smoothie costs around 90 bucks, so you could convert that into your local currency to estimate how much you'll be spending.
Oke. Over here are some crepes. Uh, if you wanna try some, this is a spot for you. I won't be trying this for now as I tried them last time. But let's continue walking as I show you different kinds of foods you can find in this market. And right here is one of my favorites. This is deep fried chicken skin. It is extremely crispy and crunchy. You're gonna love this. That is me crunching on the crispy chicken skin. I highly recommend you try it. Can someone tell me what you call this drink? I've come across it and it's got faces of people on it so i really can't read this but if you're watching this and you can read it please explain to us what drink this is all i know is that it's made from milo or cocoa and some ice so guys tell me what the writings on each particular drink is saying because i see uh, different faces on each drink how do you call this how do you call this drink <laughs> Ask him what do we call this? This drink. Call I paid what? This IP. Get it? Kapunka, You like the idea? It's, it's a crazy idea. That's where I was earlier, the restaurant is called Dakia. I would like to take this moment to thank you all who have watched the video till the end. I hope you enjoyed the experience at the Thai Hot Pot Buffet Grill. I was also able to show you around the Sunakarin Market, that's the night train market. And I hope you could visit this place if you ever pass by the neighborhood. Otherwise, uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below and uh, share my videos. Uh, we're almost hitting 1000.